Hey, what's up? Welcome back. I'm Jessica Alexander, the creator of Bahati Life Apothecary, if you don't know, and lifelong astrologer. Today we're going to be talking about the new moon that's happening in the sign of Gemini, which will be happening on the 22nd of May. If you don't know me, my process, my gifts, um, I work with astrology. I also work with in, in my intuition and I get visions and prophecies and those types of things that I'll share over with you guys. I also teach how to work with the planet so that they can work for you and not against you and that's what you'll find in this video. It's interesting though to dive into this reading right away. I feel as though as I'm looking at this chart I am being called to revisit an old vision, an old prophecy that it is that I had months ago. And I don't know if you guys remember this, let me know down in the comments, especially if you're part of the Bahati Vibe Tribe, we talked about this. But I had this vision of people working from these pods, like little pod spaces. It almost reminded me of the Jetsons, but we weren't like zooming through space or anything like that or through the galaxy or through the cosmos with our physical bodies. We were working from these hubs, these like little space ports and, and these little bubbles. And literally that's kind of what it is that we're at right now. If you guys can do me a favor and let me know down in the comments what video it was. I'm pretty sure it might have been a Astro Chat Live, but let me know down in the comments if you remember, maybe the timestamps, if you can tag me in that in that video, because you guys are really amazing with that. But I'm being called to revisit that for this new moon. And I find that really interesting because so many, what I'm getting and what I'm sensing as I'm looking at the chart, not only is it the, the planets, how they're aspecting each other, but I'm getting spirit, is like my, my spirit, my intuition is confirming this, that many of you guys are revisiting ideas. It seems like it's an idea, but it's a concept. You guys are revisit, revisiting and reevaluating a certain specific concept of how you're going to achieve a goal. For some of you guys, this is going to be your work and how you do your work, your career, your jobs, those types of things, education. Others of you, this could be relationships, it could be health, it could be anything, but I'm seeing us all working from these pods, these little hubs, little hubs of our own activity, like our own little glo globes, our own little bubble. And it's I, I, as I'm saying that, I'm also getting the sense that this is a major change like we know we know that we're in the middle of it right now as we speak and this is such a major change these major changes they cannot come from you okay the only thing that you have to change and that you have to do at the time of the new moon is to stay very open and flexible and you have to be very open to adapting i feel as though for those signs that are more fixed or those people who are, have fixed energy where you're very kind of um, content in your ways and how you kind of do things and the way that you see for yourself, you have to be so open to all the things because this is going to come in from different areas of your life. It's going to come in from your coworkers. It's going to come in from your relationships. It's going to come in with yourself, your mental health. Um, how you think about yourself, how you how you perceive your environment, your neighbors, everything really is in a space right now of flux. This is not just these major planets like Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn retrograde right now, although they are definitely lending their hand in, in this. This is a combination of the entire chart and at the time of the new moon, the new moon is happening inside of Gemini. Gemini is a mutable sign and Gemini doesn't like to lock itself into any one thing and no matter what it is that your sign is, no matter what it is that your sun sign, your rising sign, your moon sign, you're being called at the time of the Gemini new moon to, to be very open to the options, be very open and flexible with where the universe, where spirit, where the divine, where God is guiding you right now at this moment in your life in all areas of your life. Don't let these major changes come from you at this time, uh, in this moment, on the 22nd and the, the weeks to come. Okay, the 22nd is the time for you to plant that seed. It's a new moon. So the energy is is ripe. It's it's well not ripe, but it's it's there to receive to to ripen it. So with that, 
you don't want to come in and and destroy what is happening here you want to allow it to grow effortlessly all on its own and as it starts to grow can realize that in order for this to continue on and to be prosperous and for you to be prosperous there has to be a real level of openness and adaptability and flexibility that you need to um embrace in order for it to be a little easier for it to be flowing more effortlessly again this is going to be a hard a harder struggle for those of us who are kind of set in our ways we have our certain routines we have certain ways that we do things for those of you guys that are a little bit they don't care as much if you have ever found yourself feeling like you know or saying i wish i didn't care so much those people or if I said that just now and it resonated with you, you're the person who's going to probably have a bit more of a difficult time with this new moon, but it's really just a chance. And as I'm saying that, I have chills a little bit, like up my spine, so that's confirmation. But it's, it's you really, it's you don't wanna take things personally and you don't want to lock into something and get frustrated when it's going to flow regardless. So if you are able, if you are capable and you allow yourself to open up for this new moon on the 22nd, what you will receive are ideas. You'll receive gifts, cosmic gifts from the universe to help to support you in this direction that is that you're going. I'm really then called to look at Mars. Mars is our action, our drive, our um, how we go about achieving certain things, like whatever it is that our goal is, how we, how we push the fuel, what is our rocket fuel to get us there? And Mars is currently moving to the sign of Pisces. Now, if we were to take a step back as astrologers and we look at Mars, we would be like, Mars doesn't like being in the sign of Pisces. Actually, Mars hates being in the sign of Pisces because the planets do play favorites and they, they also are like mean girls sometimes. They'll be like, you can't sit with us. We On Wednesdays, we wear pink. She doesn't even go here. That's Saturn. She doesn't even go here. So the planets do play favorites. But if I'm not looking at this like the the rules of astrology right now I'm looking at the energy of the astrology chart and what Mars is gifting you is this ability to take inspired action and if you are locked up if you are concrete if you are set in your ways this mutable energy can't manifest itself it can't reveal itself to you in a way that's going to feel comfortable to you and when you do get uncomfortable when you do um, when you are being called to move, when you are being called to set intention, if you are so concrete and this is the way that I've been doing it, this is the way that it has been doing it, this is the only way that we can do it, you're going to be so def def defeated and disappointed in the fact that the universe is showing you that there are multiple ways and multiple paths to get you to this amazing destination that is that we're all headed. And the reason why this is, is um, our planet is changing so much. It's it's the way that it was regulated before and the way that it was ruled before is by leadership, by government, by politics, by politics, by business is actively being crushed right now. And not only is that in business and politics and those external things, but it's also in your personal life. It's the generational curses that you've been working to de to destroy. It's these mental man mental blockages that you've kind of embraced and said that this is who I am when you realize this is not who I am, this is who I was raised to be. This is the blockages that you have that have held you back. This is um, impoverished situations that you have been planted in but you are removing yourself from. This is toxic relationships and having no boundaries, having no healthy boundaries in your any type of, not even your romantic relationships but also your family relationships. It goes on and it goes on and it goes on and it goes on. It's all about leveling up. And if you are still stuck in this mentality of this is the way that it has been done, this is the only way that it can be done, you will get squashed and you will be left behind in a situation that is barren. It's not bearing fruit. It won't grow. While the rest of the world says, aha, I have an idea. Aha, this is where we can find healing. Aha, this is the solution. Aha, this is my relationship. It may feel, it may make you uncomfortable in the moment because this is a new normal. And this is something that I've been saying before coronavirus hit, and those, those of you guys that have been a part of the Body Vibe Tribe, you know I've been saying this long, long time before coronavirus hit. I did not manifest it. I was channeling what was manifesting, and I was sharing that message with you guys. This is the new normal. So as all these planets are, are retrograde right now, and this goes longer and deeper, <laughs> 
than just Pluto, Jupiter, and Saturn retrograde now. These are things that have been in the works for years, especially with Pluto moving to the sign of Saturn. So as these planets are now retrograde, let this is why I'm telling you, let the universe, let God, let the divine, whoever you believe in, the, the cycles of life, let them do what they are going to do. Don't even get caught up in what's happening out there. I want you guys to focus on what's happening in here. And the best way to get to get into that space is to allow yourself to do whatever it is that makes you feel relaxed. Whatever it is that makes you feel inspired. Whatever it is that helps you to ease up. Okay? Um, and the reason why is even if you're a creative person or a logical person, we all need to kind of relax our brains a little bit from thinking, from overthinking, from being overloaded. And when we allow our physical and mental and spiritual bodies and emotional bodies to relax, we are so open to the infinite potential. Gemini, the gift of Gemini, especially for this Gemini new moon, is the, the inspired idea. I can't tell, I'm going to tell you that there are, again, like I said in my last video, I think it was the full moon. There are going to be more, it's a large percentage of people right now. It's 80 to 90% of the population. I said it very confidently in that last video, and I'm going to say it confidently in this video. 80 to 95% of the population is going to feel this. It's an inspired idea. It's an inspired thought. It's going to be a solution to a problem that's been a problem for way too long, for, for, long, for long generations. It's gonna be generations before you never had the solution and all of a sudden it comes to you in an aha moment when you're on a bike. It, it, it literally is just playful. It's when you factor in the, the time and the space for you to play, for you to ease up, for you to be open to this transition is right when it comes in. And you're just gonna be like, why didn't we ever think about this? Why did I just say we? Because it's going to impact all of us, right? It's so important that you guys take this time in order to drift off in the cosmos, so to speak. That's why Mars has a difficult time with this, and that's why a lot of people have a difficult time with this, moving through the energy of Pisces, because so many of us are like, there's only one way to do it, and this is the way to do it, and this is how I'm going to go, and if I get derailed, I'm going to be moved from my path, and the universe, God, your angels, Archangel Michael, Archangel Gabriel, your ancestors, your guides, is like, literally in the spiritual realm, there are so many solutions, there's infinite solutions to one problem. Let me show you, but in order for me to do that, stay open to receiving this relationships i have to talk about relationships some of you guys if you're single it's like you're taking you need to take a pause you have to kind of almost take a break uh venus is currently retrograde right now she's conjunct with mercury mercury is the planet of communication thoughts ideas can um sitting in the sign of gemini they need their space to not be confined and contained to any one thing this is gonna be really hard for the those of you guys who are so used to being in a partnership or if you're in a partnership for you to kind of branch off and do your own thing, if you have issues with codependency or, um, you know, just kind of splitting up for a moment. I know Franklin, I know, honey. Sorry, Franklin is underneath the desk right now. Um, but really what happens is that if you are, you're gonna find your greatest gift is going to be in your, in your ability to kind of detach for a moment it's not totally emotionally detaching it's just kind of you you know going your way and finding your facts and finding your knowledge and finding things that inspire you 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 can share that with your partner you can share that with your relationships but for right now i'm i'm seeing so many of you guys needing to breathe new life into your relationships into your love life into you that it's gonna be, it's gonna, it should feel like a breath of fresh air. What is it that you need to set intention for at the time of this new moon that's gonna help life to be a little more jovial, a little bit more playful, a little bit more in interesting? Okay, sometimes we focus on these heavier components of our life like massive healing, marriage, children, abundance, financial investments, houses, the stock market. And we overlook these smaller pieces, these smaller components that make life so easy and effortless, you know, and make our quality of life way better. And you'd be surprised how a solution come, come in from a really small, small detail. As I'm looking at this chart, come on, the support is here with Virgo, um, the part of fortune sitting in the sign of Virgo. Virgo rules the tiny details. But the thing is, is that you're not going to see that detail. You will miss it if you are not open to it. And um, I'm just seeing this space. This is what I'm shuffling for right now. 
I want to shuffle and see what spirit is, is going to say. But what is it, it, it? I feel as though this inspired action, this um, this move, this this tiny thing that falls out. It, you know what I just got? It's like being in a haunted house or being in. Yeah, it's like I don't know why the haunted house is coming through as a vision, but it's like being in this haunted house, this creepy, dark space. And um, and then you're like trying to find the way out. Like you're, there's been a series of events that happen in this haunted house and then you move a cereal box in a cabinet and then the cabinet door was kind of, you know, partly open and you pushed it and you saw this like little glint and you find the key and the key is to the gate that lets you out or that the gate, the key is to the thing that turns the lights on. And that's really what it is that I'm seeing is that if you are open to it, you will find the solution to the problem was hidden there all the entire time, but it was in, a, in an interesting spot. The devil is in the details is what I'm hearing right now. And I feel as though when I say devil, um, hold on, I'm supposed to shuffle it this way. But when I say devil, it's like these this small thing that has been captured by you you know that has 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 held you in its hand you're finding the solution you're finding the way out and it's in this it's in the detail of that i believe especially as i'm looking at this now it makes sense because uranus is trying the part of fortune uranus is the planet of unexpected um events surprises sitting in the sign of taurus this is something that's been sitting there a long time you just haven't seen it and i feel as though it's going to be faded part of fortune is um trying the vertex point Look at that. The vertex point is sitting in Capricorn. As I'm looking at this, all this is starting to make sense. The vertex point is sitting in, in Capricorn. Capricorn is the sign of longevity. It's been The solution has been there for a long time, but it's inspired action. Why action? Mars. Mars is sitting in the sign of Pisces. Pisces rules inspiration. Mars rules action. Action sits directly opposite of the part of fortune. Part of fortune sitting in Virgo. Then, as I'm looking at the chart now, the, the part of fortune is squaring the new moon. So there is a key that is opening the door here. And there is something that's being um, opened here for you, for you guys. It's information. It's a new something revealing itself. Let me just pause for a moment because my camera is about to die. And I want to go ahead and pull these cards for you. Hey, loveys. It's me again. I changed my battery and I'm back. As I was changing my battery, though, I was talking out loud to myself not really I was kind of just talking to my my guides and I just was focusing on the Virgo I was focusing on the Virgo energy and I started seeing and I'm so glad that I was able to take that break because I feel like if I didn't take that break I wouldn't have received this but it really stood out to me in the same way that I was sharing that vision of the key behind the cereal box in the cabinet while you're running for your life you know um, and I feel like Virgo energy has this need sometimes to kind of busy itself, to stay busy with fixing certain things. And I feel like this busyness, this busy bodiedness, it's, it's, um, it should be physical. It shouldn't be mental. I really got this really strong sense that this fit, this, this, um, activity, it's very quick, whether you're. Come on, honey. Mm. Sorry, guys. Franklin is needing extra hugs right now. Um, but this extra bodiedness, this extra busyness, it, I don't want it to come. And I'm really being called to kind of say it now that it's very quick and easy for it to come from overstimulation of the mind of all that it is that you think that you should be doing, all the things that you feel like you not, you're not doing or all of these ideas. You might be one of those people who doesn't get just one idea. You get like a bunch of ideas. You feel overloaded. You feel bombarded by it. Just capture it and realize that it's all of all of these little keys and tokens. Everyone is at different points, points within their journey. So each one of us has different things that spirit is going to give to us at this time. But um, some of you guys are going to get overloaded with how much you're about to receive from the divine, from God, from the universe. Um, the other thing is that I'm seeing that you want to set in set intention, literally write down and speak out to the universe, to the cosmos, through your meditation or whatever, through your ritual. Ask for this the smaller details. Some of you guys are overlooking these tiny details. Some of you guys have to rip up your list of certain things that is that you've had in the past 
and get rid of them. Why am I saying that? Because there's this reevaluation energy that I was talking about at the very beginning of this video. This reevaluation of things that is that you've already asked for. This is because Pluto, Jupiter, Saturn, you've learned a lot and also Venus retrograde. You've learned a lot throughout these transits. You've learned a lot about yourself. And as you learn about you, yourself, you, your, your needs and your wants and your desires start to shift and they start to change. So I'm feeling as though that detail that I was talking about, it's, you're, I don't want you guys to think in your head how you can make it all work. I want you guys to get physical, move around a little bit or a lot of it. Um, you know, it could be working out, it could be doing yoga, it could be going for a run, going for a jog, and then really start thinking about who you are now, what is it you want for yourself, and does it feel divinely inspired? Does it feel like inspired action? When you feel that, if you if you don't feel like feel that, set intention for that. Set intention for that that message to come through, that idea to come through, that book, that thing that you need to write, that thing that you need to create, that email that you need to send, the right words to say to someone or what you need to hear, put it out there, and then literally rip up the expectations of the past, release the expectations of the past, because all of these things are being reworked. I'm saying this, and I'm talking about the past, and I don't want you guys to hyper-focus on that. I feel like the universe is working on what has already happened and finding ways to restore it to make it right. And it's your job not to get locked in on, in that. It's your job to stay open as much as possible. Now let's go ahead and see what these cards are showing. Okay, wow, wow. So this, this is bringing me to soulmates. Sorry about that. So I flipped the card and then my mind was blown and then my camera just completely went out. <clears throat> but I just flipped these two cards. I don't know where the video just cut off just now, but immediately I'm brought to twin flame, twin flame type of energy. And now that I'm saying that out loud, it really is bringing me to that message that I said earlier, which is separating from your partner. Even if you're in a relationship or if you're single, it's like the work that it is that you're doing on yourself without them, it helps the both of you guys. And it's like energy, it's like the spirit world is working to restore, refix certain things. I'm really getting this, I know a lot of you guys are focusing on other things right now and that's fine, but right now I'm just telling you that some of you guys really need to hear this when it comes to twin, twin flame type energy, that as you are working on yourself, and it's not even twin flames, I don't want you guys to link into that so hard, but it's the it's relationships that feel what you are doing to actively better yourself they they mirror it so sometimes you guys lock in and say okay this twin flame is the person who's going to be with me forever but maybe that's the case i have my own thoughts and feelings about twin flames and soulmates and relationships and lifelong partners things that were confirmed to me by spirit along in my journey but so i'm that's a topic for another video but this is reminding me very much of twin flame type energy and as i'm saying this we're in the sign of Gemini the twins that's when this new moon is happening and is in the sign of the twins and I feel as though as I'm saying this some of you guys have to rip up these expectations of this family life or this specific partner because it wasn't something that was good for you it was actually something that was a part of a generational curse that you were attracted to that you thought that you wanted for yourself and in reality remember how I was saying breathe fresh life into this space breathe fresh life newness into this energy whatever it is this has to come to relationships this is twin flames written all over and as i'm saying this venus is retrograde in the sign of gemini the part of fortune is in the sign of gemini mercury is in the sign of gemini some of you guys and it's literally um squaring off with with um neptune in the sign of pisces pisces brings that higher level of love together some of you guys really need to set intention that this love life this this connection with your with your relationship this this twin flame type of partnership that it gets repaired that the universe doesn't overlook it that you don't overlook it attention in the details that's what see all of it is making sense to me right now um anyways the cards that i pulled over are the two of wands and the lovers card now lovers in general is you know, two, it's ruled by the energy of Gemini, but it's two separate individuals coming together in order to make a choice. Is this something that we want for ourselves? Where are we going? Two of Wands is truly the card of where, where am I going? What do I want? Which way? Which way? What do I do? Where do I want to take this? Where, where do I want to place my energy? 
But what I am seeing clear as day is these two separate individuals that are very much alike in the soul, but they're very much different in physical and maybe even mental. But when you have this, you see it and it's like you can see it on the horizon, you can sense it on the horizon. You can see it in a mirror, you can see it like, I don't know if you guys can see this in this card, but you can see the glimpse of it, you can see it, but it doesn't seem real. It doesn't seem like it's here and it's present. And, but that's the thing is that even though you may not see it physically or the changes that are happening, they are happening. It's like a, a, a vibe, a reverberation is what's coming through to me. And the two of wands reminds me of this person is here and this person is here, which, how do we, and this is what I'm saying, stay very open. Saturn, Jupiter, Pluto retrograde, Venus retrograde, let them work on the re repairing of this. You guys just stay open to what's happening here and consider everything. At the very top, wow, at the very top of this reading, we have Page of Pentacles, we have Knight of Cups. This is again, I really, this is a person who is really starting to cement in themselves. This is the, those of us that are very stubborn, you're going to have, and as I'm looking at this, we have two different little angels, two little fairies over their shoulder. If you can't see it, just trust me. And then also in this card, there's a starfish representing regeneration, rebirth, and renewal. That's at the very top of this reading. And then at the top of this card, there's a rainbow showing hope and healing and inspiration and divine intervention. That's what it is that I'm getting here as I'm looking at this. The Knight of Cups is about an offer of love and the Page of Pentacles gives it stability. And that's what I'm seeing here. This combination is already like mind blown for those of you guys that are not focused on love relationships right now. Like I was saying, there's like this disconnect in order to focus on yourself. Let's say you're focusing on your career and you don't even wanna talk about relationships right now, that's fine. But I'm definitely getting a sense that the universe is trying to find everyone their match. They're trying to find their partnership. Whoever it is that they need to link up with, whoever it is that they need to align with in order to help to achieve this master lock of a goal. I don't know why I just heard that, but it's a master lock of a goal. I think that that's why it's, it's kind of been like, brings me back to that vision that I saw with the haunted house, with the key that's hidden. It's the key that's hidden that opens the master lock to this destiny. You were in this like haunted, creaky, old environment, and now you're opening up the door to get out and breathe fresh life. You would, if a year from now, that same haunted house is gonna be like the most innovative, modern, comfortable, loving home environment, but it has to have that key to unlock the door. Okay, what's at the center of this reading spirit? Speak, wow, okay, wow. Six of wands, oh, I'm blown away. Six of wands, this message feels like such a blessing right now. Um, six of wands and the temperance card. The temperance is again about healing. It's about things coming together despite their, despite the difficulties, despite the obstacles. And there was a red cardinal just outside of my window. Oh, I'm just like so blown away right now. But things coming together despite all of their like unsurmountable differences, obstacles, situations, it is healed, it is made right. The Six of Wands is the card of success. It is the card of the champion, but a champion isn't a champion without having gone through something. And I just feel as though Spirit is really saying to us right now and saying to you really clearly that you, your healing is not meant to be just yours alone. It's very important that you have support throughout this and you are meant to be supported right now. And I'm definitely getting that sense that spirit is working to support you or find the way to help you to be supported. I'm not seeing this single energy. The only time when it feels like a single energy, a person standing on their own is when you're going out in the, and at the time of the new moon to busy yourself. Not busy yourself with meaningless things, but get yourself physically active so that you can receive Knight of Cups, Page of Pentacles, this like groundbreaking master lock, aha, life-changing revelation. Either it's an idea, it's a message, a text message, an email, a confirmation, a sign. It is in the works, starting on the 22nd. At the root of this, you guys have been so, oh my God, I'm done. You guys have been so stressed out. The level of stress, the level of spiritual burden. I also heard financial burden for some of you guys. You guys are like, how am I gonna survive? 
Like, it is really, how am I gonna survive? How am I gonna live through this? How am I gonna make this happen? This is bringing me right back to what it was I was saying at the very start of this reading, which is do not worry about the bigger details. The universe is actively confirming that it's working it out. I also need to receive that message. I did not know that I needed to receive it, but I can feel it in my spirit that I needed to receive it. The universe is working out those bigger issues. You just have to stay very open. Some of you guys, are it's like an instant no that is that you wanna say, say and you want to look for the problem. You want to say, no, I'm tired, I'm exhausted. Nine of swords, seven of wands. I have gone through enough mentally. I'm protecting myself. And the universe says, I'm not trying to hurt you. I'm not trying to hurt you. Trust me. As I'm looking at this, I am seeing Chiron, the wounded healer, is in the sign of Aries. Aries is the warrior. Aries energy wants to fight and Chiron says I'm not trying to put you in another position where it is that you have to fight I have to fight I have to heal the warrior I have to heal the soldier that's the six of wands energy the six of wands is the person who's been out on the battlefield and has been fighting for their life back to that haunted house and now it's like I'm trying to heal the person who's been actively the one who's been fighting the most who's been defending them the, the most the past energy, wow. In the past, you've had this devil energy around you. It's so interesting. This is the devil card and you have the queen of wands. The same thing that had you confined, that you have broken free from, actively have been broken free from, that's why you're here right now, is the same thing that taught you how independent you are. It taught you to be innovative. It taught you to be a leader for yourself, to be an, ad to be an advocate for yourself. A lot of you guys are very exhausted because of the journey up until this point, but it truly was there to get you out of this confined restriction. This could have been um, this could have been this devil card. It could have been generational curses. It could have been um, situations that there, it, the odds were stacked against you. How could you have gotten out of it? And it's it's this new seed, this new um, thing that's coming through. What is it like? I'm really curious right now and I want to hear what it is. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. Confirmation and a little bit of extra support with this card. Okay, that was really easy. Okay, three of pentacles was the card to jump out first and then also eight of pentacles. This is about, I'm hearing the word collaboration, but I'm also getting a sense of community. There, it, You're not meant to be doing everything on your own. In fact, the Five of Swords was here, but the Five of Swords was reversed. This is a person who was taught and locked into this, this way of thinking that that way of doing things is the only way when you have all of the support and resources that is coming through to not only to encourage you, but to... Um, invest in you to provide for you to be an equal partner and where does that you stand no compromises what is the biggest obstacle here I feel really called to ask that what is the biggest challenge that will be seen that will be experienced what is a warning give us a warning I feel like there's something that we need to look out for I'm really feeling that in my spirit whoa okay whoa wow Okay, this is going to sound really crazy to you guys. You're going to be like, just how are you pulling that out? Like, how, where are you getting that from? Um, okay, yeah. I'm getting, whoa. Okay, the word that came through is temptation. There is this temptation to, for you to settle into status quo. For you to say and accept that the fact that what I've been through is was so bad or so draining on me and so exhausting. I've lost my hope, I've lost my family, I've lost my faith in my future, I've lost these ideas, I've lost money, I've lost my home, I lost my marriage, whatever it is, whatever it is that you lost, it you just are sitting in your in your mind, you're like, I've already lost this thing. I don't even want to have faith anymore. I don't even want to put myself out there anymore. I don't even want to try. I don't even want to be vulnerable right now because it's better for me to be where I'm at right now, even though I'm not happy with it. It's better for me to even just be here. And you're now sitting in a haunted house. And the spirit will not allow that at all. Point blank. It will not allow it. That is your biggest temptation is the fact that you're just like, I'm, I'm, it's not that I'm happy here. I just, I can't. And that's your biggest obstacle right now is that feeling of this is it. This is just, it's just going to be it. 
and it's again i'm getting this sense this really strong sense of the warrior who's been really tired who's been fighting a lot of battles um and just saying like i if this is the, t the tent that it is i'm living in i just can't even imagine making my way to the hospital or making my way through the therapy to help me to release the PTSD of what happened on the battlefield. Or I can't imagine me leaving this haunted house because last time I did, you know, that's when whatever happened. So, and then I also saw there's this strength, you guys, this strength, it's the unfairness, it's the heartache, the seven of swords. These are the things that are the obstacles for you. The strength card is sometimes your strength is your 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 biggest hoop of fire because you're you can you've kind of accepted it and said in your strength you're like i'm just going to protect myself and universe says back to the chiron chiron sitting in aries i'm not trying to make you fight anymore i'm actually trying to heal the fighter seven of swords and the um justice card you okay <laughs> like he like coughs to prove his point that he's not okay. Um, Seven of Swords reverse and the Justice card reverse shows me that it was not fair. It was not okay. There is no way or shape in shape and no way, shape or form that universe is saying that we're going to allow that to happen to you again. But we want, we need to carry you. We need to get you out. It's going to come through um, when you least expect it. Get physical. Set intention for exactly what it is. As I'm saying this, you guys. Let's, I, I, oh. Okay, well, I'm glad that that flipped over. So, Wheel of Fortune, the Hermit card, and the Sun card. Those are major cards. I was asking, what do we set intention for? Give us some clarity, Spirit, to help us to set intention. And these are things that it's like, in this quiet time, in this quiet space, you want to ask for clarity. You want to ask for hope. You want to ask for healing, happiness, joy, family, life, things that make you feel good. Don't think about how it's going to happen. Just think about and focus on the details, the the, the devils in the details. Think about um, how it is that you want to feel. Just start from that. Start from that ground level, and the wheel is going to turn for you. The wheel is going to turn in your favor. That's how you want to set intention. Also, the Hermit card is ruled by Virgo, and Virgo is the part of fortune. Part of fortune is also connected to the Wheel of Fortune card, which is over there. Um, and this is where the blessing is going to come from is in those tinier details that it's not you don't need to know the bigger picture right now The bigger picture is being worked out Okay, but um, Just think about what is it that you would like to feel and experience community Quiet time some time for yourself Some journaling some meditation the energy to go for those long bike rides the motivation whatever it is set intention for those things what that would feel like and allow the universe as it's everything is being destroyed in the external, allow the universe to rebuild it to match the intention that is that you set for yourself, the feelings that is that you want to set for yourself, okay? Wow! Love that reading. Love that reading. Loved it. I actually have to sit with myself and re-listen to myself because there are some things that I feel like I need to hear myself say. And when I'm channeling and when I'm flowing, I don't hear it all. I have to revisit it so i will do just that in the meantime you guys thank you so much for watching please share this video make sure you are subscribed to my youtube channel because there's plenty more videos where this came from you can follow me on instagram and i make posts there pretty regularly and until then i'll see you in my next one new moon's blessings bye